Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and it's great to be back with you today. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast. I always appreciate your comments and your prayer requests. I sure pray about every one that I receive, and I thank you for listening to this video today, and I trust it'll be a blessing to you today. I want to talk about a great one today in the Bible. Of course, Jesus Christ was the greatest anointed one of all. But there's another character in the Bible that stood out as one of the great ones. He was also called the Anointed One, the Earthly Anointed One, and that was King David. David uh, come on the scene, you know, as a young man. He was the son of Jesse, one of seven sons, and uh, he took care of the sheep. And uh, Samuel was instructed by the Lord to go out and select the next king of Israel. We know that Saul was the king of Israel then, but God had other plans to move someone else into that position. So Eliab and all of the ones that marched before Samuel, God said, that's not the one. And he questioned Jesse, is there another one? And he said, there's one out ten in the sheep. So they went to fetch David and uh, and God said, this is a man, and he was anointed to be the next king of Israel. Of course, Saul was a king at that time, but this is futuristic down the road a little bit. God's going to have to develop him, but he becomes one of the greatest men in the Bible. One of the greatest things that we learned about probably David was his defeat in the giant Goliath. And he was always uh, makes the underdog look good. People always liked the underdogs, and David was an underdog when it came to come up against that very tall Goliath. But, you know, he ran onto the battlefield and captured him and won a great victory for Israel. This man really defiled the armies of the living God. And, yes, David went out there unafraid and, and uh, went out there and conquered him uh, by the mighty power of God. It's wonderful. One of the greatest legacies I think David brought is establishing Jerusalem as God's earthly king. And while he was there, he established it as being the king of Israel and also uh, many other places. Uh, and so we, we find that, you know, one of these days uh, we find out uh, some of the realistic things about what happened in David's life. He was and really spent a lot of his time around Bethlehem. That's where Jesus was born, we know. And this was King of David. And of course, Bethlehem is known as the city of David. And so it's really really something to, to talk about and think about the legacy of the life of, of David. You know, when he's anointed one and selected, God told Samuel to not look on the man's appearance in 1 Samuel 16 and 7. For God doesn't look on the outward appearance, but God looks up on the heart. Folks, I want to tell you, God knows what's going on in your heart today. Other people might criticize you and things that you do, but God looks on your heart and God knows your heart. If you're living the right kind of life before God in a pure heart, you don't have to pay attention to what other people tell you if you know you're right with God. But God selected a man who was God's after God's own heart. The Bible says that he was a man after God's own heart. That's a tremendous statement. And when God really, really loved him so much. And you know, we know that David failed because he was a human and he did have his flaws in his, uh, in his uh, situation uh, in the Bible where he failed and committed adultery and then uh, was a, a, had a participation in uh, the killing of one of, uh, one of the people next to him. It's really, really interesting to know that God still forgave him. But, you know, David had to go through a lot to get the forgiveness of God. But God does forgive us if we'll truly tenderly pray and ask him to forgive us. You know, some of the great things about David is he wrote many of the Psalms in the book of uh, in the books of Psalms, like Psalms 23 is one of the great ones that he wrote. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie ground in pastures. He leads me the side the still waters. Uh, 
David become a great king of Israel, and we can learn a lot from his life and legacy. He's even mentioned in the New Testament in a lot of places throughout the Bible. First and Second Samuel, First and Second Chronicles, half the Psalms even mentioned by Jesus in, in the Bible. And so we thank you for this great man of God, Lord. We thank you for David and his life and influence. May his life inspire us to seek after God with all of our heart. Folks, if you're away from God today, you better get things right because this thing is about to end. And I want to encourage you today to turn your life to God and remember that God wants you to be, uh, wants you to have a heart like David. He wants you to be sensitive to his voice and listen to his call. Thank you so much for listening to this broadcast today, and I love you so very much.